Hey, good evening, everyone. Just thought I'd make a quick video on my helmet and the setup that I use. Um, since it's the off season, won't be getting any riding videos in for probably another month or two. So figured I'd try to fill the time with, uh, you know, different things that relate to the bike and kind of what I've done. So this is a Shoei RF 1400 um, with the Grin Reaper um, logo prints. Um, I also have the photochromatic um, shield, which obviously right now isn't really going to help, but you can tell because it's got the uh, pH in the corner right here. Um, I went ahead and put the mount for a GoPro on the chin, and I'm drawing a blank right now. I will put it in the description. They are helmet specific mounts. So they curve around the shape of the helmet and then they have the 3M adhesive. And I think it's just better than the ones that come with the GoPro, um, be it the flat or the curved. I just, I just wanted to make sure whatever I was gonna put on here was gonna adhere and form. Uh, I wrapped the whole helmet probably being a little too dramatic, but I wrapped the helmet in tape overnight just to make sure it adhered after using a heat gun on a little, on the low setting for a little bit, uh, just to heat the glue up to make sure it was gonna get the best stick. Um, I recently added this um, Cena SRL EXT, which is made for this helmet. Um, I think I had the 10S on it before and it worked, but uh, I was looking for something with a little better audio, a little longer battery. And this came out last year um, and figured I'd give it a try. So I installed this. I've only ridden with it a couple times because I installed it um, over this winter break and the off season. Uh, but I do like basically the aesthetics. There's a little guide that it comes with that allows it to line up uh, in this, this specific position. Um, the only downside to this is it does have a battery that is in its own um, format that you mount in a similar position to the other side. Obviously, this is high and the other part comes down low. Um, and it is fixed wiring, meaning that you can't unplug this from the battery. So you pretty much are stuck with where it mounts and how it mounts. And then you have to route the wiring Basically, I'm not gonna take it apart, but you basically mount it through the back of the helmet. So it goes underneath here, comes around, and then all of the plugs kind of meet over in this area right here. It does have dual-sided um, dual adhesive that you stick both pieces to the helmet with. And then on the control side, there's this little bracket that has two screws that kind of pull it tight towards the, the actual headset itself to give what I'm assuming is gonna be a secure fit. Um, it has a pop-up antenna. I'm guessing this is so you can get the best mileage when it comes to the open channel or mesh communication. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really been able to ride with anybody that has one of the open mesh systems from Cena yet. The previous one didn't have like the nine or eight public channels that you could just automatically put it to and anybody around you that's you know running those channels can hear. Um, so this does have the open mesh, or I'm sorry, it does have the open channel and the mesh. Um, obviously Bluetooth. So, you know, it's marketed as a motorcycle mesh and Bluetooth communication system. So it has both ways to talk to other people and then the Bluetooth audio so you can listen. I do like the sound. It's the Harman Kardon. The speakers kind of, they sit... In the factory location, it comes with um, some little puffy like spacers and it does sit pretty close to your ears. So I do like that because, um, you know, at the higher speeds, you're gonna have that wind noise. I need to install the wind curtain. I didn't even realize it came with one, but I need to go back and install that to try and reduce some of the, the speed, the, the noise. Um, the GoPro I do have on a mount and actually, let me grab that real fast. Not the best way to do this, I guess, but I forgot to grab it before I started the camera. So I have this like offset mount, um, which allows it to 
I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. Didn't really think about this. Oh, maybe I can. Ah. Now, epic fail right now. Okay. So I need to, actually I ordered an aluminum adjuster because I snapped the plastic one, trying to tighten it up. But basically, you know, it puts it right in front of your mouth, chin, and gives you that view. The downside, the latch sits right in the way of the camera and you have to push this button in on this helmet in order to release the shield. So to account for that, I think what I noticed is I can bring this screw loose, bring this down, drop it forward, and it's gonna give me, you know, another half inch or so in between the camera and the helmet. It's just gonna sit out further. But I got a Hero 8. So when I run on the helmet, I have a 10 that is on the rear of the motorcycle. And then I'm looking at maybe getting the, the smaller one that's just like the camera part to install somewhere on the front of the motorcycle, just so I can have, you know, the different um, front back and then the view from the helmet. Um, let me know if you have any questions, um, what helmets maybe you guys run that you think might be better than this, um, what communication systems you're using, and um, how you're mounting GoPros to your motorcycle.